So the quote from Mike Babcock, and I know you've heard it, but just so we're clear, it is nothing against Wilson because he works hard, but he's not as big a concern as a lot of other people on their team. And you are on a team with the great eight, Oshi, Backstrom, and a few more scoring threats, so it doesn't sound that unreasonable. How did you feel about it? It's probably a true statement. We got a lot of threats in our locker room, and um, that's obviously where their, where their focus is, and it just kind of shows what depth can do for a team in the playoffs. At the end of the day, no matter what's said or, or not, it, it's not going to change the way I play. It's not going to change the way he coaches. It's not going to change anything. You go out there and you play the game, and whatever's said afterwards is, I mean, he's a well-respected coach, and those are just his views. Given your role with the Caps, which has been pretty well defined, have you ever headed into a playoff game thinking, I'll be the one to deliver the team to victory tonight? Not really. Um, you know, my focus going into most playoff games is do the little things right, work hard, make the other team's D lives difficult, and, and do the little things and create energy. And um, if we can chip in offensively, great. But uh, I mean, you, you imagine that when you're little going out and scoring the OT winner and stuff. but. Um, obviously, I hadn't done that yet in my career, so it uh, felt good to kind of live that moment, and it was nice for the fourth line to be able to contribute and help out. So you grew up in Toronto as a diehard Leaf fan. When you were playing on the uh, family backyard rink, what Leaf were you? Um, I had a Dar Darcy Tucker jersey. Uh, he was always fun to watch. Uh, a guy like Matt Sundin, obviously a great leader and kind of the captain throughout my era as a, as a kid watching. And, you know what, my dad grew up in Montreal, tried to make me a, a Habs fan growing up, but uh, obviously you grew up in Toronto, you got friends and you, you go out there, you pretend you're the Leafs on the backyard rink or in the backyard and um, it's a lot of fun and some pretty fond memories. You know what it's like for Leaf fans to have their hearts broken. Have you thought in the last while about the role reversal here that you're the one who broke their hearts? A little bit. I got obviously some of those texts were, hey, great shot, but you know what, Go Leafs go still, and um, that's the way it works. I mean, you got friends and family that are in Toronto. Uh, fortunately, the past couple of years, the Leafs hadn't been in the playoffs, so I converted a lot of friends and family over to the, the Caps family, and um, they got their they got their Caps gear and they're decked out. But there's always going to be those friends that were at the bar watching or or at home watching in their living room and um, are a little bit disappointed, and and lots of people you cross paths with in your hometown, so. I can't expect everyone to be on the, the Caps bandwagon, but uh, like I said, I got great friends and family in both cities, and it's, uh, it's exciting to be the one to, to score the goal and get all that feedback.